Hey there, I'm Dr. Renee Tucker, author of the best-selling book, Where Does My Horse Hurt? In this video, we're talking about the last two most common reasons for bucking horses, that is the ovaries and also skeletal alignment issues. First, let's talk about the ovaries. There's a couple things to keep in mind when you're thinking about, is ovaries the problem with my horse? Well, first of all, your horse needs to be a mare. If you don't have a mare, you don't have ovaries. So skip this section if you do not have a mare. I just had to say that because I'm ridiculous. So the second thing is, think back in your mind and think if this issue you're having with bucking or crow hopping or whatever is cyclical. What I mean by that is, you know, maybe it's kind of bad or worse for a week and then it's kind of not so bad for a couple weeks and then it gets bad again and then it's not so bad again. If it kind of goes around like that, that's a sign that it might be the ovaries because ovaries make hormones and the uterus makes hormones and uh, it just kind of goes around in that calendar cycle. So that can be a super helpful clue if your issue is cyclical. But the main way that you can check your horse to see if that's an ovary issue is to check the horse's ovary points. So you may not have known horses have ovary points, but yes, they do. And they're also called intertransverse joints, which is even more complicated. Um, now, here's a diagram of the ovary point. It's fairly easy to find. It's halfway between the point of the hip and between the top part of the croup. So if you just draw a line between those two points, about the center is the ovary point. And all you do to check this point is find it and push down. And if your horse has a sensitive ovary, she's going to let you know. She's gonna go out and maybe like kind of give down or she might even kick out. So make sure you stand in a safe place and check that if it's really sensitive. And be sure to check both sides because not usually it's just one ovary or the other one that might have an issue. Now, that being said, uh, you can have ovaries that don't react on the inner transverse uh, joint check and ovaries that are not cyclical because if ovaries are like really messed up, uh, the hormones will be totally screwy and you could have just completely the same amount of problems all the time. It's not up and down, it's not cyclical, but it could still be ovaries, so keep that in mind. Um, and then lastly, I do have a video link of the inner transverse joint checkup that's available on my website and that link's below in the description. Okay, now if you wanted to, that's all you can really do uh, for yourself for ovaries. You can definitely try um, raspberry leaves, you can get an ultrasound done, you can get a hormone panel done, those involve your veterinarian. Uh, but for checking yourself, think if it's cyclical and check the ovary point. Okay, the skeleton alignment issues that cause bucking. Well, the horse has a whole lot of bones in this body, but luckily there's only four main points that you need to check with your horse in the horse's body to see if there's a problem with skeletal alignment related to bucking. Now, the scope of this video is not to tell you exactly how to do each one of those. It would be like way too long. So let me tell you a little bit about each one of them. And you can find all these checkups in the book, Where Does My Horse Hurt? And I also do have an online masterclass if you really wanna get into it, find out how to do these checkups and if you're doing them right. Take a look at that. That link's also in the description. Meanwhile, the four parts. One, ribs. The ribs are right underneath the saddle. The panel of the saddle actually sits on them. So if they're out of alignment, they're gonna tell your horse about it and they might buck. Uh, the second one is the sternum. The sternum is really the breastbone of the horse. It starts in the front of the chest and then goes down in between the front legs. And you would wanna check and see if you have any pain or sensitivity there or if it's centered in the middle of the chest. The girth actually goes over the sternum so that if the sternum is not in alignment, that will pull and that will hurt and the horse will definitely buck. Okay, number three is the thoracic spine. That is directly under the saddle. Then the lumbar spine is the part of the spine that's just behind the saddle. So basically the whole top line of the horse needs to be checked for bucking issues. On my website, whereismyhorsework.com, I do have a short video of how to do the thoracic checkup I don't have the lumbar check, but it's pretty, really similar. So you could just keep going and do the thoracic one. So that'll show you how to do that. Um, otherwise, you'd really just kind of need to call your chiropractor or a body worker who knows how to check alignment issues. They don't all, so that's okay. Um, 
but that will give you a good clue to say, hey, are you checking the ribs or did you check the sternum? So you can know if that's happening or not. Okay, I hope that brief overview was helpful for you to tell if your ovaries or your skeletal alignment might be causing your bucking. But again, good job trying to find out the why. That's the most important thing is that there's always a reason a horse is bucking. It's not just because they don't like you or anything like that. Uh, and for you to find out why will really be a huge blessing to your horse. So good luck and I'll see you guys later. Okay, lastly, we have skeletal issues causing bucking. Pretty common. Now, the problem with the skeleton is there's a whole lot of bones. Luckily, there's only four main areas that you might need to check to see if this is your issue. Now, the first one uh, is the ribs. The ribs are what the saddle sits on, the panel of the saddle sits on when you're riding. So if uh, the ribs are out of alignment, they're kind of sore and you put a saddle on them, then they start you know, saying, ah, this really hurts and the horse can buck. Now here is a picture of where you'd put your hand for checking the ribs. Now this video is just not gonna be long enough for me to explain how to do everything in all these four points, but I'm gonna explain them a little bit. The second one here is the sternum.